Good morning students. Students, as you already know, we are doing chapter number 10 patterns. And today we will do sums of exercise 10.1. So, let's start. Students, you have seen different patterns in your surrounding. Now see, this floor is made with tiles in proper sequence. Students, let's see this cloth is designed with the patterns of leaves. Now let's make some patterns with the help of shapes. Students, this pattern is made of circular shapes. In first circle, upper part is colored. In second, lower part is colored. In third, upper part is colored. To complete this pattern, I take another circle which is divided into two equal parts. Now students see, in first circle, I colored upper, second lower, in third upper and in fourth circle. Again, I colored lower part. Now students, again to complete pattern, I take another circle. In this circle, I colored upper part. Now students see, this pattern is made of circular shapes. After making patterns with the help of shapes, now we will discuss how to make patterns with the help of numbers. Students, in your previous class, you have learnt how to make patterns of odd and even numbers. Now students, let's make Another patterns related to numbers. Students see the number is 9981. We have to find out whether the number is multiple of 9 or not. To find out this, first of all, we omit 9 from the given number. Students see which digits are left? Yes. Two digits are left, 8 and 1. Now we add the remaining digits. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, the number is multiple of 9. Students see, in this pattern, first we omit digits 9 from the given number. After this, we add remaining digits. If the sum of remaining digits is equal to 9, then the number is multiple of 9. Next number is 8932. To find out whether the number is multiple of 9 or not, first of all, we omit 9 from the given number. Now students see, 3 digits are left. First is 8, 3 and 2. Now students, we add the remaining digits. 8 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 13. See students, the sum of the remaining digits is greater than the 9. So, 8932 is not the multiple of 9. Students, after omitting 9 from the given number, if the sum of remaining digits is greater or less than 9, then the given number is not multiple of 9. Students, let's see another pattern related to numbers. In this pattern, numbers are multiplied by 10. Students see, in the first, 35 multiplied 10. And in the answer, 0 is at the end of 35. Next, 106 multiplied 10. And in the answer, 0 is at the end of 106. 
Next, 9 multiply 10 and in the answer 0 is at the end of 9. Next, 21 multiply 10 and in the answer 0 is at the end of 21. Students see, in this pattern we observe that when number is multiplied by 10, we put 0 at the end of the given number. Students, let's see another pattern related to numbers. In this pattern, numbers are multiplied by 100. Let's see first. 2 multiply 100 in the answer. Double zero at the end of 2. 38 multiply 100 in the answer. Double zero at the end of 38. 20 multiply 100. Double zero at the end of 20. 209 multiply 10 in the answer. Double zero at the end of 209. Now students, in this pattern we observe that when number is multiplied by 100, we put double zero at the end of the given number. Students, in your homework, you have to solve sum number 1, 2 and 3 of exercise 10.1. Thank you.